Hey guys, it's Diana, and it's Monday, July 18th. And I'm still in Jordan, and so this is still pre-filmed videos. So, Rob, I know a couple weeks ago you brought up the idea of healthcare, and while I still don't want to debate healthcare because I think it's kind of petty, like as Isabel said, because we've never actually read the healthcare bill, but I do want to talk about the fact that it's being debated so much. Now, I know that I'm really behind in my news because I'm filming this, like, months in advance, but right now, as in the beginning of June, the Obamacare healthcare plan is going back to court because 26 states and the federal government are debating its constitutionality. I don't understand why they passed it if they were just going to go and debate it. You would think that they would have done all these debates before they passed it, and so once they passed it, they would have been on agreement that it was constitutional. Now, I'm not saying whether it's constitutional or not, I just think that this is an idea that they should have figured out before they passed the law and put it into action. First, it's wasting a lot of other people's time and money to be doing this where they pass a law and then debate it because they didn't do a really good job debating it when they passed it. And then also, it's hurting them. The federal government is in so much debt, they don't have time to be pulling stuff like this where they say, yeah, it's constitutional, we'll pass this law, it's a good law, it works for all the people. And then a couple months later, to be like, wait a minute, we're in court now debating whether it's actually even okay for us to pass this law. No, we should have figured this out before we passed the law. I don't know if this happens for a lot of laws, but I figure it must. This is just one of the most publicized ones. And this is what bothers me about a bureaucracy. They complain and complain and complain about being short on time and money and people, and then they spend all their time and money and people on debating laws that they already debated. It's all this debt, but the way they're acting, it's kind of just there. It's just this number and it's not actually debt. And then they're like, we need to cut programs, we need to cut spending, we're gonna cut programs like Amtrak and everything. And then they bring cases like healthcare to court. They spend all this time and money on it, and that's not a small case, because you know that how small, even small cases are really expensive for lawyers and stuff. Imagine how much this is costing all of the states and the federal government to try this case, and how long it's going to be. Other thing, we're trying all of these ridiculous cases like Rod Blagojevich. We already wasted enough time trying him the first time, and then he was found innocent on all except for one charges. You found him guilty on a charge, too. It's not like you let him off scot-free or anything. He's got a criminal record now. But, really? Do we really need to charge him again? And believe me, no one's changing anything with this case. It's not like anybody's getting up there and saying, this happened, and everyone's like, oh, that's so different from what I thought happened. You're hearing on the news about the case, right? You're not hearing about breaking news from the case, you're just hearing about the fact that the case is being tried. Okay? That's a signal that it's not that important, and that we should be spending our money and time elsewhere. Same goes for this Obamacare trial again. Really? I, I wish they had actually thought about this before they passed it instead of passing it and then going, oh wait, let's spend even more time and money on this instead of spending it on things that we really need to be doing. So that's my rant. I'm still in Jordan. Um, just a couple more weeks now. I hope you guys are all doing well. I'll spend a lot of time watching all the videos I missed once I get back and see you in August.